Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. We're shooting this on the uh, A51, Samsung Galaxy A51. And uh, I corrected the little problem with, right now I'm seeing this backwards. When I save it, it'll get reversed. I don't even know why I even have a mirrored image. Uh, so I've been playing around with it a few days here. Not as much as I should have since I got it, but then the Huawei P30 came in and God, I love the, you know, permanent, always on, uh, back mounted, you know, fingerprint reader. And uh, we'll go over a few things, a little battery life, and, how long it takes to charge and etc. Let's do the intro right now. Okay, folks, I am back and uh, I was gonna dig the phone out and place it down here on the Move the tripod and try to take pictures and you know what? It's just easier for me to talk through it and tell you what I'm getting so far. So far, I'm getting about one and a half days of battery use. I have a tendency to, you know, if it's getting down near 30%, I will charge it up. <coughs> <laughs> I'm not always sure. How much uh, it's going to eat up during the night. And uh, some nights it's 0%. Other nights it's like gobble up 6 7%. So I don't have a hub. I need one. I need that app if anybody remembers what it is. Then you turn on, you know, let run, let the phone run, and it'll show you, you know, everything going on. I like that better. I mean, I can go into voice care and see what I got each day for screen on time. And that really doesn't mean much when you're charging it, like, every day. Because, like I said, I don't let it crawl down. They say the best place to keep your phone is about 25% and then charge it to 95. I charged it this morning to 97. Uh, so what are my initial likes and dislikes? Number one, without a doubt, this thing has a killer display. It's just bright, sharp, and I keep usually the brightness way down to like 25%. Indoors, it's more than enough to kill the, uh, you know, any light sitting over it, near it. I mean, it's just, it's fine. I mean, it's really good. It's definitely part of the, you know, one of the stellar things going on with this. And the other thing is, uh, I do like uh, how fast it is. It's very quick. Oh, it's actually 9611. Well, I know, but I've already done the gaming test, and it did just dandy on that. Using the Kirin 710, which is a 10 nanometer chip. Which should be highly efficient. Uh, or it's not using the Kieran, what am I thinking? <laughs> no, that's Jesus. Scratch that part. Don't listen to Tim there. Um, it's using the PXNOS 9611, which is eh, somewhere around the low-end uh, 
the Snapdragon 700 series, the very low end of it. Well, it's as good as a 665 or a 660. It's good enough for me. I mean, this crap with, oh, the microphone opens just instantly. And, yep, it's only got a 60 hertz display. You know what? If you never get a phone with a 90 hertz display, you'll never care. I mean, two years ago, nothing had a 90 hertz display. And I didn't hear anyone going, I wish my display regressed faster. Of course they didn't. See? Nobody was doing it yet. So, overall, what do I really hate with this thing? That in-dash fingerprint reader. No reason they couldn't drill the hole on the back side of this thing. And I could have just stuck my either or index finger. Now, on, on this one, because of the uh, in-dash, I got both thumbs registered, and they kind of work, I'd say, 70% of the time. And I got my index finger, which seems to work better than the others. Uh, but there is a problem. I wanted to add my other index finger. So that would be fingerprint number four. And it keeps saying, well, you need to check fingerprint number three. So I click. Mm. It says fingerprint redetected. But there's nothing to just move on from there and add another print. I'm like, how many damn things? There are no instructions in there. No how to's. No nothing. So, uh, be that as it may, I screwed up. That's like, why did you do this to us? Dear God. Now, I'm sure there's an answer out there. I'll poke around on Google as usual and find it there. Because I certainly won't get the answer looking through the menu. I should be able to add like at least four, maybe more. And it shouldn't ask me to recheck it. And there are no other instructions. Do I have to do the whole thing? Because it's not showing me a fingerprint, so I know to do that. Uh, so, yeah. It's there. Can we just add another damn fingerprint? And that's all I got for today. So hopefully, this will reverse. And, uh like it should, and it should always have done. Yeah, except they don't tell you about that setting. That's underneath the camera apps, and you just uncheck a box that says, save mirror image. And I was like, no, hell no, I wouldn't even want a mirror image to start with. Who would? <coughs> <coughs> I see everything normal. There's no swap. So it ain't mirrored really. It's swapped. But we'll get to more stuff later. Just ain't got a lot going here. Uh, we'll see how long the battery lasts this time. I want to go find that uh, battery app app where it checks. I remember it had an orange. No. I just don't know. I've never used it. Never cared. Never cared. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Uh, once again, signing up using the selfie stick off the MPAL. Check all the links below for Winky Fusion cases for 
both the phones I am currently kind of swapping back and forth testing the MPOW selfie stick and the Zedio tripod and of course TubeBuddy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.